Hello. Yes, I am using my Ape Tech camera. Again. I need a new SD card. Watch this, we turn on the camera. This does not have focus at all. But it says it's on internal memory. Hold on, let me see something. There we go. I'll hold that. Look. There is an SD card in here. Look, the white switch broke off. I don't know if you can see this on this camera, but... Look. It's like falling apart. Two gigabytes. So, this thing is... It's like... It's, it's falling apart. So I go to look at some photos on my camera. Let me put this back. I can tell you. So I can tell you the story. See? Watch this. Recording. Memory full. Yeah. It is reading internal memory. Okay, so here is what happened. I'm going to put this camera down. So here's what happened. I am looking at my photos on my camera. I go to turn it on and it says, and I see it's on internal memory. I'm thinking, ah, uh, great, I forgot the SD card. I look and there's the SD card right there. I'm like, okay. And I put it, take it out, put it back in. It's still on the internal memory. It won't read my photos. It reads the internal photos that I already have on there. So then, after that, I play with the SD card. I realize that it's falling apart. The white switch that locks it so you can't overwrite it or so you can only read it, read only thing, flies off and breaks. It's still and, the, and it's, so the blue part's snapping off. It's not on right, it's, and it won't play on the on the camera. I'm thinking, oh shit! I have to go all the way back up to Erie and take my photos again of the ones I haven't uploaded and the videos. Thankfully, I got home and I was able to put it in the computer and the computer is able to read it. The computer is able to read it. I put it in the computer, it goes doo doo like it's supposed to, and it reads. So I, so I immediately copy all my files into the computer's hard drive. Now, they're all safe on there. But, I need a new SD card. Mine was two gigabytes. So I'm going here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to buy an eight gigabyte one. Micro S D like my phone is my phone has micro S D. Plus I can use micro S D because I have an adapter for it. It's on my phone but that's a different that's for my phone memory card. So it won't be full. Thankfully it's safe. But, I don't know how it broke. It's not intact. The thing is still intact. I guess there's still stuff on there. So, thankfully, I was able to copy all of my videos and photos onto the computer. And they still, they're still playable. So, they're still playable. So, I will still be able to upload my videos. Like, at Sears and the hotels that I haven't done yet. My upload speed is pretty fast, but the reason I don't do it is because I want to make sure I have videos to upload every day. I don't want to go a time with not having any videos to upload for a long time or something like that. So at least if I upload one a day, then I'll have videos to upload every day for a while. Mm. So...
being that uh, it's not it's broken, but these SD cards are very cheap in the United States these days. Very cheap. I'm able to get one for like I don't know. It's just very cheap. Twelve dollars, you get two gigabytes. I remember when I added a two fifty six megabyte card, which I'm recording onto right now. Actually, I'm recording in poor quality, but oh well. This is the Ape Tech camera. It's not the sound will not be in sync. But anyways, that's the story of the SD card. I call that epic fail. It was over a year old, but I'm just going to buy a new one. Good thing is, my photos are safe. So, that's it.